Hello, hello everyone. Just gonna do a quick host. Just played this game literally about three minutes ago. I um, haven't updated anything or uh, uploaded any videos in the past couple days. Been busy doing army stuff. Now, hold on, let me, uh, let me make sure to turn down the volume here so you can actually hear what's going. Alright, um, this match was played in Metalopolis as you can see. Uh, let me just speed this up just to double to hurt, speed up the beginning. Um, uh, this map, what I've been doing is I, uh, versus Zerg for the past, I don't know, day, two, uh, I've been trying out this build where I rush for fours as fast as possible. Basically just a, like a two-four rush. Um, you'll see that, uh, I've, I've played about seven, eight games against Zerg and I lost only one of those games. One of those games was lost due to sloppiness. Um, I took too long getting to where I needed to and, uh, you know, the guy was actually able to overrun me. He uh, he uh, kept me pretty busy in the beginning. Ended up getting some muters into my town. Uh, and I was going for marauders to support my fours. But uh, I should have went with marines. If I went with marines, I would have held off those three mutalisks. And he wouldn't have caused the damage he did. Um, other than that, had a pretty flawless record with this strategy. This game was actually kind of funny because it, it, it went back and forth um, more so than expected you'll see it as it goes on so um, I'm just doing a typical stuff here uh, I'm doing a wall off even though I'm uh, I still I still do my uh, you know quick marine put behind a wall and then uh, I don't I typically don't wall off on maps that are big like uh, what's that map scrap station it has a big ramp I stay away from that kind of those kind of wall offs I didn't even notice these two guys here but uh, other than that I uh, I wall off on the small ramps where my guys don't have to spend too much time walking over. Looks like he's sending out a few Zerg lanes. He's got the Bane lane nest going. He never does actually do a Bane lane bust on me. But uh, so what I'm doing here is um, basically I am building up to the four as fast as possible, uh, burning through my minerals at the same time. Um, so as you can see, I just basically power rushed to a factory then immediately after the factory's finished I start the armory and uh, I'm ready to bust out the fours um, I did let myself get supply block here as you can see I only have five food available so I had to quickly put down a uh, supply depot but at the same time I'm doing a command center I, I was running high on, on minerals so I like to uh, you know put down a command center while I'm at it this Zerg, this Zerg play role was very good on map control. He had his guys pre-positioned, um, ready to hit. So you'll see my uh, my my uh, command center gets take doesn't get taken out, but I, I lose it basically. Uh, um, so what I'm doing here is I'm going for a level one w uh, armor upgrade. Basically, I, because uh, the fact that I'm rushing for fours, the farmer up the armor upgrade does a great job making a uh, you know supporting the force through uh, any massive zerglings as you can see here uh, my force take out massive I mean massive amounts of zerglings uh, here he runs in finds these guys uh, as you can see I got both my fours up right now and now I gotta go push out I don't care if he's right outside my town um, I'm I'm gonna go make the push yeah, I just let him sit there right outside my vision range. All right, and uh, here I am. I'm just gonna just gonna go to his town. He obviously he can see me because he's got this Zelnaga tower. But uh, I bring with me a couple SCVs. SCVs are for repair duty. That's all they serve. They make a great job of making sure your fours last through the fights that are needed. Alright, somehow my guys went back. I must have clicked on the wrong button. But, uh, alright, let me slow this down a bit. Alright, so here I had a four that was being overrun. I picked them up, my medevac. Here, as you see, just lift off. I'm not, I'm not in any position to defend against this many zerglings. So, just floated my uh, command center over there. All right, and time to go into town. Let's see, production tab. 
He's got to have a ton of Zerglings. Yeah, he's got 48 Zerglings. As you can see, this small army can handle a Zergling just fine. And that, I credit a lot to the fact that I, uh... First thing I do is, I do get the armor upgrade. The armor upgrade is essential. As you can see, um... I'm just marching right... Marching right through these guys. I didn't lose a single four. Didn't lose too many Marines. He was focusing on my fours, and, uh... You know, they were able to, uh absorb the hits because of that extra one armor. You know, Zerglings Zerglings trying to do three you know, three damage a hit to a four hundred hit point target. It takes a lot of takes a lot of hits to take care of it. I also got the shields on the Marines. Um, since I was gonna use the Marines as my main support and uh I figured shields would be good. Um, I wasn't expecting to get too many medevacs so I skipped I skipped out on the uh stim pack. And then, as you saw, I didn't have a chance really to uh, get Stim Pack because of the fact that, uh, you know, he walked right into my town and took out all my guys. Alright. So now, just doing a little base cleanup. While at the same time, getting this all restarted again. Focusing back on my town. So. He's got an overseer here. Alright, let me speed this up a little bit. Here, I forgot to even, I forgot to turn on my SCV. Didn't, I forgot to put him on an uh, auto repair. I'll fix that soon enough, though. But uh, while that's happening, I'm getting my economy back and, uh, back and running. You know, gotta use it right. Alright, salvage the bunker. Obviously, I took out the town. Not a threat to me anymore. So... Now my SCV is repairing. The only one that's left after all those attacks. Here he is, burning up some of that energy with his contaminates. An amazing, amazing ability on Zerg. If you can uh, repair some of your key buildings, you can really wreck havoc or havoc on your economy. All right, so. Time to keep exploring. I took out his. I first thing I did when I was taking out his base. Uh, if you saw, I, I did go for a uh, spawning pool first. Um, as soon as they took out the hatchery, his hive. I wanted to kill off his ability to attack again. You know, plop down some had um, hydralisk dens or uh, spires. So I want to take out the two key structures to uh, basically block him from doing any type of rebuilding without rebuilding his entire economy. Because you can see he's got those. He couldn't do a quick. You couldn't plop down a, a quick uh, roach warren or anything like that to um and skip the spawning pool part. Take out the larva. Obviously, I don't want the larva being used after I'm gone. Here, just rebuilding slowly. I was getting blocked on food. Now I'm getting blocked on money. I put down a few. I had a few marines. I used up all my money I had to produce units. Made a Viking to uh, take out any flyers. So you see, he has to rebuild a spawning pool. Persistent guy. So, wow, 30 kills, not too bad. 26, 22. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you all later.